after years of being told no, um, the women have finally earned the right to serve in combat roles in the military. Two women uh, have finally uh, earned the tab of Army Ranger. Uh, they went through, these warriors went through hell to earn the, a place in a spot where they were once barred from and considered to be inferior. If our nation's military can offer women the right to fight in combat as our nation's elite, then women should have the opportunity to decide for themselves if they want to fight a man. Ronda Rousey should be allowed to fight a man, whether it's, well, women should be allowed to fight uh, the opportunity to fight a man, whether it's Ronda Rousey or the next female fighter, because um, in our society, if we truly want to reach equality, equality, um, we should not hold people down through restricting, by restricting their lives. Um, first, I'm going to discuss free, um, gender segregation, and then Yashua will discuss the difference in pay between men and women in sports, and then we will define what fighting a man can really mean. Somehow, even with Ronda Rousey's impressive um, fighting record, her uh, accomplishments are still only seen as secondary achievement because she is fighting females. According to the New York Times, in our society, the only true mark of success is to excel against men. Women should have the right to be able to gain this success by fi fighting a fair fight with men in the same weight class as them. Uh, Casey Cananzaro was just a normal contestant on the television show American Ninja Warrior. She stands at five feet tall and about 100 pounds, and she was able to complete the physically excruciating uh, obstacle course. Many men stronger than her and in better shape than her could not even com complete this obstacle course. Um, <coughs> This uh, competition puts no restrictions on their contestants, and it doesn't um, separate their contestants uh, based on male and female. It's just the contestant and the obstacle course. This leads us to ask the question, why are we still segregating sports based on men and women when women are producing the same and if not better results than men are? It is also unfair to continue placing these outdated restrictions on men and women when in reality there is not a difference between men and women in the ring because fighting is because fighting is um, more based on skill than it is physicality. If the worry here is that statistically men are stronger than women, that is irrelevant in the ring because the most important asset to a fighter is their mental toughness and not their strength. Um, <clears throat> Sam uh, Sheridan was a Harvard graduate and a past fighter and in his book he said that to craft the best weapon, we should focus much of our time on perfecting our physical uh, tools. However, how and when we deploy our weapons and armor is um, how and when we deploy our physical, or how and when we deploy our weapons and armor is largely a function of the mind. If you were to think about it, if Ronda Rousey was to walk in here, every man in here is physically big in there. Uh, she stands at five foot seven and 135 pounds, but if she was to go up against each one of us, she would wipe the floor with all of us. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, when it comes down to it, the fight is more about skill rather than physicality. There's no point in continuing to separate men and women when um, in sports because women, of, because if a woman of the same weight class wants to be compared to men um, when she has the desire and the skill level to compete against them. She shouldn't be able to. Um, even if Ronda Rousey herself does not want to be the first woman to <coughs> fight a man, the next Ronda Rousey figure should have the opportunity to fight a man if she wants to. Um, gender segregation alone is holding women back in their careers, but if we continue to place these restrictions on them, then um, it will continue to also hold them back financially against men. Oh. <clears throat> the, when you think about Ronda Rousey, uh, she should, women should be allowed to fight men in order, in order to overcome the financial disparities that exist between uh, the two. Ronda Rousey was just named as the cover for Rain Magazine, which is uh, a prestigious boxing, boxing magazine. And when Skip Bayless was asked about whether or not uh, to justify why uh, she should be on the cover, he, asked, he said that it's a no-brainer that he'll put her on the cover in a heartbeat because She's the biggest John in the mix. 
May I remind you again that <coughs> the Ring Magazine is bo is uh, boxing's biggest magazine, and Ronda Rousey is the first female athlete and the first MMA fighter uh, to be placed on the cover of it. She's in great company with legends like uh, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and um, Sugar Ray. Uh, Sugar Ray. Uh, um, also, uh, the fact that Ronda Rousey, um, this, that simple fact alone uh, stands to say that Ronda Rousey is not only the biggest thing in MMA, but also the biggest fighter, period. Um, but despite that, Ronda Rousey is paid lower than, uh, less than her male counterparts, with Anderson Silva in his last uh, title fight being paid a purse of $600,000, while Ronda Rousey was only paid a purse of $200,000. Now the purse is basically what the fighter gets paid, just basically to show up to a fight. Um, it doesn't matter if Ronda Rousey is the biggest fighter in MMA or what else she does to jump over barriers. She will still be paid less than men just because that statistically uh, women do not make as much as men do in sports because the sports are separated by men and women. And it will continue to stay that way as long as we keep these barriers in place. Now, to add on to that, the purse, mind you, um, is the fighter doesn't take home everything from the purse. Uh, they have to split it with the members of the team and also the promoter. Um, it's actually a slap in the face to Ronda Rousey since she is the biggest thing in MMA uh, to be paid such a low amount of money. Um, however, this isn't the only uh, offense that we commit. We also uh, commit a greater offense. Uh, to women about this opportunity. Because of our insecurities in societies, we are stripping women down of the uh, for them to make their own decisions to be able to uh, fight or to make uh, decisions on opportunities like this. Uh, Dana White said that Ronda Rousey would ragdoll Floyd Mayweather. Um, and with this, uh, that she will ragdoll Floyd Mayweather. Because of the way we all think, we automatically think that this means a striking match, but it doesn't have to mean that. However, Dana White could have been talking about a grappling match, uh, purely grappling, which would suit Ronda Rousey since she is an Olympic medalist uh, in judo. Um, grappling, actually, you know, a fight uh, featuring grappling only would not be an uncommon thing uh, since it happens all the time seeing uh, men and women go against each other with that. Um, now, when it comes to things like us to answer this question, we must consider uh, what type of fight that we're talking about, as I was just mentioning. Um, now, it's important uh, in society uh, that we don't inadvertently um, place women, uh, these restrictions on women. They say that a style makes the fight, but we shouldn't put the emphasis on whether it's a man or woman. We should put the emphasis on the skill of the fighter. Exactly. Now, um, in society, uh, again, we inadvertently, uh, by doing these things like that, we inadvertently place uh, restrictions on fighters like Ronda Rousey uh, when there really is, isn't a difference between the two of why she shouldn't be allowed to fight a man. Telling women that they are not allowed to fight men in different uh, competitions is, keep, uh, no matter what their skill level is, is keeping inequality a pressing issue. So, when you really think about it, it's not really fair for, well the true issue here is actually not uh, anything, but the true issue here isn't, it's not fair to hold women back when the true issue here may just be the male ego.